The Mayflower 400 is on a collision course. A small boat is in its path. But its cameras see the threat and its artificial intelligence plots a new course. Collision avoided as it passes its first major test. That's uh, very good to see, you know, it's, uh, there's a lot of work and development been put into all of the software and it's nice to sort of see it work in, in a real life situation. The Mayflower's team hopes it will be the first unmanned vessel to navigate across the Atlantic Ocean. Following in the wake of its namesake 400 years ago, it will sail from Plymouth in the UK to Plymouth, Massachusetts. But there's still a lot of work to be done before the ship begins her voyage in May. We haven't been able to go out in full choppy ocean waves, wind, rain. The full sort of worst case scenario stuff hasn't been achieved yet. As space for crew isn't needed, the inside is crammed with several science experiments used for measuring sea levels and chemical contents in the ocean and even recording audio tracks of whale populations. That's a, a huge move forward into reducing the cost of going to sea to collect the data that we need to understand the planet better. And that's really the ultimate goal. Cameras and onboard sensors will monitor the 15-meter ship, which can be remotely controlled in an emergency. The self-learning AI captain has been trained to use thousands of images to avoid collisions. We don't have to show her every single boat she'll ever see for her to know that that particular boat is a boat. There are common features, and that applies to um, the decisions she makes as well. So there are common features in the types of data that she can apply to all the scenarios she's in. The autonomous ship is scheduled to embark on May 15th if weather is favourable and permission is granted by British authorities, while the entire journey is set to take three weeks from port to port.